my stress echo, I did a Cleveland clinic and it was quite a interesting little test. You go into the lab and they take some initial um, echo measurements, um, very much like a standard echo, but very, but very quick. And then they um, hook you up with uh, EKG electrodes uh, so they can get a continuous EKG read. <clears throat> and they put a blood pressure cuff on you so they can take your pressure every minute or so, something like that. You start with doing the regular echo and then they there's a treadmill literally attached to your table and you step onto the treadmill and you start to walk. Every so often they say we're going to speed it up or, or raise the raise the ramp a little bit. Um, and they do. And after a while, you're walking at a pretty good clip and definitely breathing hard. And they start to increase the speed and over time, the elevation. And when you get to the point where you can't go any further, you hop back on the table, lay right down on your side, and they do another echo. They do ask whether you're doing okay. And they continually watch um, all these readouts to make sure you are okay. Um, you can stop at any time if you're not feeling okay, um, or if you just can't do it any longer. My symptoms came on rather quickly. They had to pull me off the stress echo rather quickly and then put me on my side and start running the echo itself right after the treadmill challenge. For me, the process was, <laughs> it was, I've had several and once I've had one, I, I was not looking forward to it after that. Um, it was not very fun uh, for me. Um, my disease made it not fun at all. It was um, very difficult to do the, the simple treadmill uh, portion of it. And then they're trying very quickly once your heart rate reaches a certain level to get you to the, to the echo where they can look at your heart and see how it's working. And that whole process is very rushed and very fast and very arduous for someone who has a heart disease. I once had to stop one, not because I was feeling bad, but because I, I couldn't keep the pace up any, anymore. It's painless. You know, I'd say bring some tennis shoes if you plan on having it or some shoes that you plan on walking fast in and that you're comfortable walking in on an incline with, but there is no pain involved. It's pretty fast. It's, I want to say 10 minutes. Um, it's, it's not much longer than that if it is. And they keep you there in the lab hooked up um, until your heart rate is down into a, a fairly normal range until you've recovered from the, the exercise. Um, and that's it. It's, it's a pretty short procedure. I don't know, maybe, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes for the whole thing.